up? Just wanted to uh, react to another video of Pierre Polyev debating Sean Fraser, who is the Liberal uh, Housing Minister. Then uh, we'll react to that, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. The leader of the opposition seems to know the cost of everything, but the value of absolutely nothing. Does he not see value in the measures that are building more homes in this country? Does he not see value in programs that are going to put food on the table for hungry kids through a school food program? see the value of homes and food that don't exist after eight years there's they have yeah. a food program which after which after eight years has no food a affordable housing program which has doubled housing costs they're not worth the cost and now their deficits are driving up the interest obligations for the average family for a family with a five hundred thousand dollar mortgage deficits are adding ten grand in additional interest payments per year. When will they realize that after eight years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost? Hey, Mr. Speaker, he talks a big game, but he does literally nothing for the people who need to get into the housing market. More proof this NDP Liberal Prime He's Minister is not worth the cost is that he picked the most incompetent immigration minister in Canadian history and put him in charge of housing. The guy who lost track of a million people who's blamed by his fellow cabinet colleagues for causing the housing crisis yeah. and who presides over the most expensive housing market in Canadian history. When I was minister, the average rent was $950. I've mentioned that before. And hundreds of thousands of units at that affordable price. So why won't he learn from our smashing success in 2015 and keeping costs low by axing the tax and building the home? Yeah, now, I mean, listen, I know this is Pierre Polyev's YouTube video, so it was edited a little bit there, so we didn't get to hear too much of what Sean Fraser had to say. That being said, what do you really have to say when you've been in there, when your, your government has been in there for eight years, nine years, actually, and housing has gotten worse, it's gotten more expensive, taxes has gotten more expensive, they keep adding taxes, the carbon tax did not exist in 2015, so they've clearly... No matter what Pierre Polyev says, we can just look at the numbers. We can just look at the fact that, wow, my paycheck sure isn't worth a lot. 20 bucks an hour isn't that good of a paycheck anymore because your rent's $1,500 for a one bedroom. Now, they've let in a lot of um, also immigration, uh, new immigrants into this country, and I am not against immigration. I want to make that very clear. What I am against is allowing as many people who can come here to come here without enough infrastructure to support these people and the people who also live here. Immigration is good, but it has to be controlled. You can't just let people come in and say, oh, there's not enough houses. Oh, we're going to drive up the housing market. Let's just let that happen for nine years and then tell everyone uh, listening in Canada that, oh, it's Pierre Polyev's uh, conservatives that were the problem. Nope, I remember 2014-15. Rent was pretty cheap. And I didn't even live in a cheap city. There was a four-bedroom uh, townhouse that we were living in. $1,700 for the whole thing? The whole place. And I had a few uh, you know, roommates and family members living with me as well. So we got to split that. That same uh, townhouse now would be about $3,500 a month to rent. It's doubled. That can't happen. Has, has, pays, has pay raises, have they doubled? Have paychecks doubled? No, it, it hasn't. It's pretty much been stagnant. And this liberal government just can't seem to do liberal math because liberal math doesn't even work, but they just can't seem to get it through their head that they are the ones who have caused the problem along with NDP and their coalition. That's it. You cannot blame Pierre Polyev. Oh, he hasn't done anything to support uh, Canadians in housing. It's like, He's not in charge, stupid. It's you and your NDP coalition that's in charge, and you've done nothing except virtue signal. We need to fight the environment. Oh, we need to make sure that we're, you know, super inclusive, and that's fine. You can work on the environment. You can be inclusive. But let's not ruin Canada financially. We don't have to do that. We can, you know, not double the national debt, for example. That would be, that would be a good start. You don't have the virtue signal to do that. You just have to be fiscally responsible. So I don't understand like what his thing is. Like he, he's just he's all about like social issues and horrible financially.
Because of our national debt, we have to pay $54 billion in interest alone this year. That's a billion or just over a billion dollars a week. Imagine if you just paid that debt off instead of funding proxy wars or spending money wherever the hell he's spending it. What was that? Arrive cam, $60 million right there. Obviously, that's not enough to pay off the debt, but if he wasn't so financially horrible, we can get that debt paid off. But no, he's doubled it, which means our interest interest rates have at least doubled, and now we have to pay more taxes. We, the people of Canada, the taxpayers, now have to pay for this idiot's mistakes. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, well, I'm pretty sure I know about I'm, I don't want to speak for you, but I'm pretty sure you're getting sick and tired of this too, if you're not already sick and tired of it like I am. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I'll be back shortly with another video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps a lot. And I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.